We thank you, our God and our Father. We bless your holy name this wonderful morning, Lord. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, my Father. Thank you for the life you have given to each one of us, my Lord. Thank you for assembling us together to hear from you, Jesus. I am just but a vessel, my Lord. Use me, King of glory. Jehovah, I present myself to you, O God. I am just an empty vessel, Lord. Fill me, King of glory, mighty God of Israel. And fill your children through me, everlasting Father. Let them not see me, but see you, Jehovah God Almighty. Take over, Holy Spirit of the living God. It's all about you, my God and my Redeemer. It's all about you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I worship you, my God, and I honor you, Jehovah. Thank you because of the word that, Lord, you are going to feed us this morning, O oh God. Father, I pray, Jehovah, King of glory. Let your word, my Father, rebuke us. Let your word correct us. Let your word bless us, my Father. Let your word encourage us, mighty God of Israel, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we arise against every demons, my Lord, that have been assigned, Jehovah God Almighty, to misinterpret your word, my Father. Father, my God, Lord, we scatter them in the mighty name of Jesus. Come and have your way, Holy Spirit of God. We plead the blood of Jesus in this place, my Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus in this altar, Jehovah. Take over, King of glory. Blessed be your holy name, my Father and my God. We worship you, Jesus, and we honor you, my God. For it is in the powerful mighty name of Jesus do we pray and give thanks. Amen. 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 Read this song that says, it's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. First of all, I take this opportunity to thank the Lord, God Almighty, for the grace He has given unto me, for the life He has given unto me, and for the opportunity He has given unto me to stand before you and deliver His word unto you. Praise the Lord. I am just but a vessel to be used by God. Hallelujah. I also take op uh, this opportunity to thank the church leadership together with our pastor mommy glorious to give me this opportunity to stand before you and to minister the word of god may the lord bless you so very much and may the lord do you good praise the lord i want also to thank you for coming to the sanctuary of god to come and listen to god despite knowing that our pastor is not around praise the lord kuna makanisa wakijua kwamba mchungaji hayuko hautawaona kanisani praise the lord Jipigie makofi. Hallelujah. Jipigie makofi vizuri tafadhali. Praise Jesus. Wacha hata mimi niwapatie story moja. Praise the Lord. Amen. Au sinione hivi ukafikiria kwamba nilikuwa hivi kwa Naisa Sifiwe. Mungu aliniokota nikiwa nimezama katika dhambi na kaweza kuniunganisha na kanisha hili. Hallelujah. I remember I got married. Nikalipiwa mahari. Nikafanya white wedding in the church. Nikaapa mbele ya kanisa. Praise the Lord. Maybe nita encourage mtu hapa. 
Ule wakati nilikuwa nimeolewa kukawa na vurugu kidogo na mzee tukapata ways praise the lord kaenda zake mimi nikaenda zangu kaenda akaoa mimi nikaenda nikaolewa praise the lord which is against the word of god which is against the will of god praise the lord and i went and get married to a pastor who knows the word of god praise the lord and he could not rebuke me that this thing you are doing it is not right praise the lord God found me there. He sent me a sister from this ministry. Praise the Lord. All the way from Kayole Junction. He came to Gashie. Ngapi wanajua Kiambu? Kiamba County. Praise the Lord. Is it county or uh, constituency? Praise the Lord. She came and she brought me the word of God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And I opened up to her. Kaniambia sister yangu Ninakuona unapenda Mungu lakini yani the way nilikuwa nakaa it was so terrible praise the lord and i think by that time i was 34 but ungeangalia ufikirieni shosha wa miaka 60 maana maisha yamenichapa stress imenimaliza but i want to thank the lord this wonderful evening when she gave me the message she connected me with the servant of god and i spoke with the servant of god she told me my daughter you are in adultery praise the lord if you love your soul learn run for your life and i did so hallelujah amen. praise the lord amen that is a story for another day kitaka mengi nitafute kando kama unajua uko hapa hujalipia bibi yako mahari na unaishi na yeye you are in a fornication praise the lord amen. it is not me it is the word of god hallelujah If you know you are in marriage and you are cohabit co- cohabiting praise the lord run for your life we are here and the lord has made us to stand bana yesa sifiwe usisema tu kutakuwaje tokanga tu ndio kama joseph alitoka praise the lord and we will be safe hallelujah let us go to the topic of today covering 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 C O V E R I N G covering Praise the Lord Mtaneza shangaa huyu anaelekea wapi Bwana Yesu asifiwe Okay let us define the word covering what is covering is something that hides conceals and or protect someone or an item from being damaged what is covering is something that hides conceals and or protect someone or an item from being damaged praise the lord Amen. i can give an example we use a case cover to cover a pillow when i say if you and we use a sheet to cover a mattress when i say if you this items not only hides and conceals the object but they also protect them from being torn when i say if you a pillow we use a case Tunatumia ile kesi kuingisha nini pilo ndani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tunatumia sheet kufanya nini? Kutandika kwa mattress so that mattress isifanye nini? Isikuwe torn. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you are not getting me, you just get me. Don't worry. Hallelujah. Amen. This place is too hot kindly. Open for us that. That free. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So these items not only hides and conceals the object but they also protect them from being torn. When you put water in a, a jerry can, there is that seal that you take and you cover the mouth of the jerry can so that this water may not be contaminated. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us now to look at God's covering. God's covering. 
as we continue, we will understand well. Praise the Lord. God's covering, we can define it as, is an expression which describes the spiritual protection and nature is an expression which describes the spiritual protection and nurture which God provides for all those who are in covenant relationship with him. Praise the Lord. It's an expression which describes the spiritual protection and nurture which God provides for all those who are in covenant relationship with him. Meaning that when you are not in the in covenant relationship with God, you cannot be under the covering of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember the Bible says, two can't walk together unless they agree. Amos 3.3 to Ms. Kadaji, kindly you will read for us. Two can't walk together unless they agree. Yes, God is our covering. Everybody in this world, praise the Lord. But without the covering of God, without you accepting the relationship of God, without you entering into a covenant with God, there can be, God cannot cover you if you have not accepted his covering. Praise the Lord. Remember we have Satan. So if you are not in the covering of God, you are in the covering of who? Satan. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amos 3.3 3. Amos 3.3 3, The word says, Can two walk together except they be agreed? Hallelujah. Can two walk together except they are agreed? Like, let me give an example. A man and a woman. This man wants to marry this woman. Praise the Lord. And he goes to this woman and tells him, My sister, will you be the mother of my children? And this sister said, No. Will there be relationship? Will they work together? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, <laughs> I see somebody looking at me and smiling. Don't worry. <laughs> When he says, if you will. We can say if you are not in a relationship with God, you are not under his umbrella, but under the umbrella of Satan. Praise the Lord. If you are under the covering of God, you will walk in the presence of God. When he says, if you will. Kama buwana amekunyesha ile umbrella yake. If the Lord has covered you, you will walk in the presence of the Lord. And everything that you will want to do, you will want to please the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now let us talk about two types of covering. As we go by, you will understand. Maybe you are floating. Two types of covering. Number one, physical covering. This is done by our biological or guardians, parents. This is done by our biological parents or guardians for them that are orphans. Number two, we have spiritual covering. This is done by our spiritual parents. Praise the Lord. Let us go to the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 1. Ephesians chapter 6, I know it is a memory verse, but today maybe you may get it in a different way. Praise the Lord. Amen. For the word of God is new every morning. Because I'm there, let me read. Uh, the Bible says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, that it may be well with you, and you may live long on the earth. Praise the Lord. Amen. In this context, we have two types of parents. Hallelujah. The, pa the first parents are the servants of God taking care of us. 
Hallelujah. That the spiritual covering, the spiritual parents who are taking care of us. And the Bible says, obey. Obey who? Obey your parents in the Lord. Honor your father and mother. These are our biological parents. Praise the Lord. That you may live long. When you obey the servants of God, when you obey the spiritual parents, it shall be well with you. When you honor your father and mother, you shall live long in this earth. Praise the Lord. But when you disrespect the servants of God, you are not disrespecting them. You are disrespecting God himself. Praise the Lord. For it is God who has appointed the servants of God to come and represent him on this earth. Hallelujah. It is God who has appointed Pastor Glorious to come and represent her, re represent him in this church. Praise the Lord. So when the pastor tells you, do this, you say, you are not doing it to that mama. You are doing it to God. Praise the Lord. It is the Lord that knows our hearts. Whatever we speak, you can be speaking with Sister Susan, but inside you, yala ambao na mfikiria ni maachabu. Bwena isa sifiwe. We need to obey, obey our parents in the Lord. And we need to honor our father and our mother. For it shall be well with us. If you don't obey them, it won't be well with you. Hallelujah. Bwena isa sifiwe. Spiritual parents, we need to obey them. Biological parents, we need to honor them. If we disobey and dishonor these both parents, we disobey and dishonor God who appointed them. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want us now to look at physical covering. Physical covering as a subtopic. And I want us to look at the case study of the prodigal son. Luke 15, 11 to 20. Luke chapter 15, verse 11. The word says, And he, and he said, A certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that followed to me, and he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country, and there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in the, fa famine in the land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he will fail, have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father have bread enough to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servant. And he arose and came to his father. But when he, he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. Hallelujah. This is a son that said in his heart, Now I think I'm ready. I need to go and ask of my father. To give me my inheritance. Praise the Lord. He went to his father. And he asked for his inheritance. And left the covering of his father. Praise the Lord. The step he took. To get out of his father's covering. He ended into destruction. There was no one to protect him. He did even tell his father. Where he was going. Praise the Lord. We have read that scripture. And we understand a uh, uh, we understand it very well. 
Hii ni scripture ambayo kila wakati tunasomewa. Praise the Lord. This son went to his father and told his father, Father, give me my inheritance. Praise the Lord. When he was given his inheritance, to my understanding, I got this that this son, he had not grown up enough to take care of himself. He was he still needed to be under the covering of his father. But he saw that he didn't want to be under that covering. He wanted to get out of it and start his life. Praise the Lord. Let me give an example. Like we say, Jafe comes to daddy and says, Daddy give me my inheritance. Jafe metosha kujisimamia. Wanaesa sifiwe. Why are we gloomy? Wanaesa sifiwe. Hallelujah. Jafe natosha kujisimamia. No. So this son went to his father and said, Father, give me my inheritance. And the Bible says after a few days, he went. Is there anywhere we have been told that he went to his father and told his father, I'm going to America? He did not. Praise the Lord. That is how some of us, we behave with our parents. Hallelujah. And then you go outside there, there is no the covering of the parent, no blessing. Because when you live well, your father will pray for you and say, God, may you lead my child. God, may you guide my child. God, may you bless my child as he goes out. Praise the Lord. But he just went. After going, he went there. He finished everything that he had because he was not responsible. Praise the Lord. He was not responsible. He finished everything that he was given and then he started suffering. When famine came in that land, uh -huh, he went and started eating with swines. Praise the Lord. Was it the will of his father this son may go and eat with swines? No. Hallelujah. Before you make a decision, sit down and think well. Is this thing that I want to do right? Will it profit me or not? Praise the Lord. The covering of parent is more important. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us look at another person here. The study, uh, case study of Absalom. Hallelujah. We go to 2 Samuel 15. 2 Samuel chapter 15. Let's read verse 1. Second Samuel 15, the word says, And it came to pass after this that Absalom prepared his chariots and horses and fifty men to run before him. Read verse 11. And with Absalom went two hundred men out of Jerusalem that were called, and they went into, and they went in their simplicity, and they knew not anything. Hallelujah. Read verse 13. And there, came a messenger, and there came a messenger to David saying, The hearts of the men of Israel are after Absalom. And David said unto all his servants that were with him at Jerusalem, Arise and let us flee, for we shall not, we shall not else escape from Absalom. Make speed to depart, lest he overtake us suddenly and bring evil upon us. And smite the city with the edge of the sword. Hallelujah. Amen. Who was David? King. Hallelujah. Amen. David was a king. And this king was ordained by who? God. He was ordained by God. Yes, Absalom is his child. Praise the Lord. Who gave Absalom mandate to go and want to bring down the kingship of his father that God ordained David to? Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Absalom decided. He went and stole the hearts of men. And somebody came and told David, all the hearts of men are with whom? Absalom. Praise the Lord. Amen. This ministry, God appointed who? Pastor Glorious. Hallelujah. Amen. This is what other people do in other churches. You find out that somebody says, ah, inaona nina esaudumu. Anaenda nakata kanisa katikati Shua Anaenda na nusu Anachia mchungaji nusu Let me tell you today You cannot prosper 
because the hand of God is not upon you. The hand of God is upon whom he appointed. Praise the Lord. Amen. What led to this man? He saw this is my father. Akadarao baba yake. Akamweka kwa kijiko akaona huyu nitamwe itu. Na nitafanya nini? Nitamtupa wako njela nichukwe kingship yake. It can't go like that. Praise the Lord. Amen. If God appoints somebody, please respect that person. Even if it is your father, respect him. Praise the Lord. Do not tamper with the plan of God in the lives of the servants of God. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us also to look at the case study of Job. Rational because of time. Job chapter 1 verse 5. As a, as a physical covering. Remember, we are talking about physical covering. Your parents are important in your life. Job 1 5. It says, And it was so when the days of, of their fasting were gone about that Job sent and, sent and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning and offered, bu offered burnt offering according to the number of them all. For Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned and cast God in their heart. Thus did Job continually. Praise the Lord. This is a father who cared for his children. And a father will always want good for their children. It's only an evil father who will want evil for his children. Because Job said, the Bible says that whenever these children had a feast, he could come and sanctify them. He could come and offer sacrifice for each one of them. Kama wame mkosea mungu, buwana kakue na rehema juu. Yeah, oh, praise the Lord. This is a physical covering. A father who wanted good for his children. A father who didn't want his children to go against the will of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Where are you? Are you a good father to your children? Are you a good covering? Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you a good parent to your children? Can your children give a good account of my father? I hear such says, and my father is the best. My mommy is the best, uh -uh. my father is the best. Praise the Lord. Are you covering your children well? Are you teaching them the ways of God? Job was afraid. He didn't know even if these children had cast who? Had cast God. So he went ahead and did what? made a sacrifice for each one of them. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hmm. I want us now to look at the spiritual covering. That is where my message is. We were just laying foundation. Are we getting something? When I was if you were? Hallelujah. Wangapo mekuja kutafuta feather. Oh, kumbe mkua lat. Physical, uh, spiritual covering. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. What is spiritual covering? Covering. It's being submitted to the authority of another Christian believer who is appointed by God. It's being submitted to the authority of another Christian believer who is appointed by God. Let us read from the book of Romans 13.1. Romans 13.1. Let me read because I'm there. Let every soul be subject to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God. And the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Praise the Lord. Amen. So you, if you see Pastor Gloria standing here, I speak about her because she's my mother and she has really trained me. Hallelujah. Amen. When I say, if, you, if you see her standing here, she has been appointed by who? By God. 
she did not just come from a forest and started a church like other ministers do. You don't have a, a father. You don't have. You have never even been in 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 in, in the Christianity uh, realm. But you just come and you start a church. Praise the Lord. But these servants of God who walk in the truth and in the holiness, they are appointed by who? By God. Praise the Lord. Amen. They did not just come up for themselves. So when you mess up with the servant of God, know that you are messing up with God, not them. Hallelujah. Amen. to not every church has a spiritual parent who serves as an umbrella to every member who fellowship in that church. Every church has a spiritual parent who serves as an umbrella to every member who fellowships in that church. Hallelujah. Amen. We are here. We are under the umbrella of who? We are under the umbrella of who? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are under the umbrella of Pastor Glorious. Hallelujah. Every church has a spiritual parent who serves as an umbrella to every member which fellowships in that church. Let me say this. We are here. We are under the covering of the servant of God whom God appointed. He knew that one day Susan will need a covering. He knew that one day Grace will need a true covering. Praise the Lord. We were in coverings that were not true. Praise the Lord. Like in the covering I was in. Yes, he was a pastor. But zip ilikuwa imefunguka. Praise the Lord. Alikuwa nakula washirika. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Why are you? I don't fear anything. Praise the Lord. We have pastors who have ambao nakula kondo. And yet you are just under that covering. You are feeling good when your pastor goes and sleeps with you. Hallelujah. When you are brought to the light, you don't want the light. You want to go back to that, your spiritual father. Ambao nakupamba, kikushika everywhere. And you are there. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. God has given us a true servant of God. Tulia pale, akufundishe, akuelekeze, until you become somebody in life. Praise the Lord. Wacha kutangatanga hapa na pale. Utakutana na au mapastas wako huko nje. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Mimi Bwana alinitoa mbali and I thank you. Praise the Lord. These spiritual authorities became our covering, becomes our covering. Before we preach or teach there should be someone we are under submission to. Praise the Lord. Kabla ukuja wanze kuhubiri hapa. Kabla ukuja wanze kutu kuwapudu hapa. Kabla ukue a departmental leader. Sit down. Be taught. Be trained. Praise the Lord. Acquire skills and knowledge. The way our first pastor taught us. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesa sifiwe. Na hata kama unaubiri. Ukiruka ukiye ukiubiri vilema wakipona mm -mm. you are still under training Bwana Yesu asifiwe Heshima huyo mtumishi wa Mungu kama unaona kwamba wewe unaubiri vilema wanatembea viweto wanatembea visiwi wanasikia na mtumishi wa Mungu hajafikia hiyo level mm -mm. ni mtumishi wa Mungu praise the lord Amen. you are under that pastor so respect her for you are good Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Many servants of God, we see here, they have submitted under Pastor Glorious for membership. Some of them came here, they didn't know even how to preach. But right now, are you feeding from them? Are you getting true manna? Because they came and they sat down. They wanted to be Thoughts. Praise the Lord. 
Bwana asifiwe. So kachini kuwa trained, receive what? Skills and knowledge on how to stand before people. Before you come, you want to do what? To minister. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Maana tuko katika nini? Membership. Na hapa tuko na mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye ago all round atakufundisha marriage, akufundishe kupika, akufundishe kuhubiri, akufundishe kuongea na watu. Mimi kitabu kila mtu alikuwa analalamika. Susan doesn't know how to talk. Praise the Lord. Mama aliniita. Asikiango wengine wanasema hapa ati wewe uko karibu na mchungaji hata pasta oh, my friend. Kosa ndio ujue mtumishi wa Mungu ni nani. Kutana naye kwa ile ofisi. Kiona tu simu yake unasema haleluya leo nimefanya nini. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I see some people you are joking. <laughs> Mepata mama amepoa. <laughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So these are servants of God who train us in things of God before letting us enter into the field of godly work. Praise the Lord. Hebrews 13:17. Hebrews 13:17. These are spiritual, these are servants of God who train us in things of God before letting us enter into the field of godly work. Hebrews 13:17. It says, Obey them that have rule over you and submit yourself for the watch for your soul as they must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief for that is unprofitable for you. Hallelujah. Obey those who rule over you and be submissive for they watch out for your souls and those who must give account let them do so with joy and not with grief for what will be unprofitable for you. Praise the Lord. We need to obey them. We need to submit under them so that we may be able to live a life that pleases God. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are in training. Hallelujah. Amen. So when you are being trained, be ready to be trained, to receive that training. One is as if you will. And know that God is there to help you if you submit under her. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Is covering in the Bible? Yes, it is. Point to note. I asked a question. Is covering in the Bible? Yes. yes. According, uh, uh, point to note, according, uh, a covering is not just something or someone made up. It was in the place from the beginning. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Want us to look at the case study of Adam. Genesis 2:17. Genesis 2:17. Genesis 2:17. It says, "But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat, for in that day that thou eatest Therefore, thou shalt surely die. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. In this context, God was Adam's covering. He, he concealed Adam's natural state and protected him from every evil. They did not have the knowledge of good and evil. They were both naked, but they were not ashamed because God covered them with his presence. Praise the Lord. God covered who? Adam and Eve. And the message was given to Adam. Don't eat of that tree of good and knowledge. But the day they went and plucked. Here is Eve who went and plucked the fruit. And he ate it. When I say if you I'm asking myself. Kwani wakati Eve alikula ile matunda? Machaka yakifunguka. Because the Bible says when they both ate of that fruit, both of them their eyes were open. Adam akiangalia Eve anaona a a atufanani. Eve akiangalia Adam anasema aya ya hapa siko. Wacha niende nitafute nini? Matao. You cannot make for yourself a covering. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. You cannot make for yourself a covering. 
Mungu anakuta anauliza Adam where are you? I hid myself why? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hivyo ndio wengine tunafanyanga tukishatenda dhambi sure out of the church. Unapigiwa simu shida iko wapi? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You cannot make for yourself a cavalry. Hebu ambie mwanzako. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hata malienda ka kaleta matawi akajifunika mm -mm. he just needed god to make for him a covering praise the lord joseph alikuwa amependwa sana sana na baba yake na kwa hilo the brothers hated him and he had two dreams these dreams azikuwa mzuri kwa brothers zake kwa naisa sivyo let me tell you something today Don't think those sisters of yours and those brothers of yours. If they see something good in your life, ya kwamba wote watafurahia. Praise the Lord. Kuna wale wataanza kusema, "Oh, kamejiona." Venye brother yake walianza kusema, "A dreamer." Praise the Lord. Read for us what is the maneno yangu. Read for us Genesis. Genesis chapter 7, 7 3. It says Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age and he made him a coat of many colors. Hallelujah. He loved him and he went and he made him a coat of many colors. Praise the Lord. I know you will wonder how is Joseph coming in this in this covering? Don't worry. Praise the Lord. So Joseph was a beloved son of Jacob. And here he had two dreams. And these dreams made his brothers to hate him more. And one day his father told Joseph, "Go and take food to your brothers." Vanessa sifiwe. Hallelujah. Go and take food to your brothers so joseph went he went innocently bwana yesu asifiwe as he went walimuonea mbali wakasema a dream is coming and they started planning how to kill him they said no ruben said let us not shed blood so he said let us throw him in this pit but ruben wanted to go behind and take him back to his father praise the lord But they came with another option. They saw the people who were buying these slaves passing. They said, "No, let us do what said Joseph." Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. No one can kill your destiny. Praise the Lord. Only if God allows. But God was with Joseph and he was working with Joseph. That is the reason why these brothers did not kill him. Praise the Lord. So God allowed them to sell them to the Egyptians. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Because God knew the plan that was ahead. Hallelujah. Amen. That this man Joseph one day he will be a covering unto the children of Israel. So he took Joseph ahead to go and train him, to go and guide him there, to go and make him to make a way where his brothers and his fathers will come praise the lord so that they may find somebody who will be who will act as a covering unto them bwana yesu asifiwe amen so even if people want to finish your life they will not finish you if god rubber stamps it they will but if god has put your hand on you they will not finish you bwana asifiwe So Joseph went ahead he prepared na kule akukua tulikuwa na maisha nyewe tuliambiwa hapa the breaking in the morning praise the lord Joseph went into the house of Potiphar Potiphar na mtaka but he did what he ran away praise the lord He became the He became what the prime minister to the land of Egypt in a known land praise the lord because the lord had prepared him to host his brothers and his father who were coming in the days of famine praise the lord 
So you don't know why you are here this day. Maybe God has brought you here that you may stand firm, that you may, uh, you may get this training, that you may be equipped with the word of God, that you may go back to your family and save them. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says <laughs> Joseph died. Did the dreams of Joseph come true? Yes. They went and bowed, isn't it? Yes. Now, the Bible says after Joseph, that generation, Joseph died in the book of Exodus. A new king arose who didn't know who? Joseph. And God still had to make a way to find another covering, spiritual covering to the children of Israel who will help them out. Joseph Ali Kufa, the king that came in the leadership, did know about Joseph. Now the children of Israel are crying of hardship. That cry reached who? Reached God. And God decided to bring them another spiritual covering. Who was this spiritual covering? Moses. Oh, you are a lot. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Moses was their next spiritual covering. Hallelujah. And this we find it in the book of Exodus 3, verse 1 to 10, but I took a somayote because of time. See, time is not on our side. Now, uh, let me read. Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the back of the desert and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire from the midst of, of a bush. So he looked and behold, the bush burned with fire, but the bush was not consumed. Then Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush does not burn. So when the Lord saw that he turned aside to look, God called to him from the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, here am I. Then, then he said, do not draw near this place. Take your sandals off your feet. For the place where you stand is holy ground. When I read number 10, the Bible says, Come now, therefore, I will send you to Pharaoh, that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Praise the Lord. So God had to raise another spiritual covering to the children of Israel who will go and deliver them from the hands of Pharaoh. Praise the Lord. Amen. So the Lord, after raising Moses, we see many miracles that uh, Moses did before Pharaoh for him to be able to deliver these children of Israel. Praise the Lord. Amen. When a covering is removed, another covering will be given. If only you submit unto who? Unto God. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we see as they journeyed, Moses had wafikisha to the land of Canaan. So also God had to raise another spiritual covering. Who was he? Joshua. Who was he? Joshua. Joshua. Praise the Lord. Amen. And that we can get it from the book of Joshua 1. Joshua 1. It says, Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise and go over this Jordan, thou and all these people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Hallelujah. God chose uh, Joshua to complete the assignment of Moses. Joshua was afraid, but God encouraged him. Praise the Lord. Amen. You see, God loves us so very much. And if you are an obedient child, you will just sit down and wait for the Lord to lead you, to guide you under that covering where you are. Praise the Lord. Let us look at the responsibilities of a spiritual parent. Responsibilities of a spiritual parent. Number one. 
Number one, they reproduce spiritual children who have a passionate and intimate relationship with God the Father. Reproduce spiritual children who have a passionate and intimate relationship with God the Father. We can see Moses reproduced Joshua. Apostle Paul reproduced who? Timothy. Praise the Lord. Amen. That one we can get it in 2 Timothy 1 to 1, 1 to 2. 1, 1 to 2. Second Timothy 1. It says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, according to the promise of life, which is in Jesus Christ, to Timothy, my dear, dearly beloved son, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Moses reproduced who? Joshua. Paul reproduced who? Timothy. Here, mama has reproduced so many. Praise the Lord. If only you continue to submit under that grace, you will go far. Praise the Lord. You will go far. Praise the Lord. Amen. My sister, I hope you will not be offended. Kuna moja inua pembe siku ingine. Ulijikuta out of riot. But today, you went there, ukaona kule inje, si kuzuri. You submitted yourself back to God. You really challenge me, my sister. The step you took, God will reward you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Na wewe usiseme ya kwamba, eti nitatoka niende tena nitarudi. Toka. They are the voice of God. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you one thing. When you hear servant of God, ame kwambia my daughter, go and submit under somebody. The way he said, Nancy submit under the family of Auras. Nancy, if you want to be blessed, be humble and submit under them. You will be blessed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because if, if a servant of God is the voice of God, I could direct God to a place. And I do remember this is the, the, the voice of God that has spoken through me. That this daughter of mine has to submit under this person. So if you refuse to submit there, wait until. Vanessa Sifiwe. Na kuambia enda wewe unaona huyu mtu natoshana na yeye tunaenda na yeye wapi? Wewe endelea kusema utaenda na yeye wapi? Uone kama hizo baraka zilizokuwa under that umbrella. Because mom is our umbrella. Pastor Gloria is the umbrella of Riot Ministry. Amechagua departments. Praise the Lord. Every department has an umbrella. Mimi I am under umbrella who? In praise and worship team. Under the umbrella of brother Mokanda. Praise the Lord. In evangelism, I am under who? Kadaji. When they come in the intercessory, they are under? So if God, if mama tells you, go and submit under this person, it is for your own good, not for the good of any person. Praise the Lord. He loves and cares for his and her spiritual children through the heavenly expression of God's love and care. Spiritual parents, they love us. They care for us. Through the heavenly expression of God's love. They provide mentorship, spiritual covering, guidance, spiritual parenting, and oversight. Wana sifiwe. Yani wana kuonea mpaka mbe? Mbele. Unasikia mama na kuambia. A servant of God is telling you. Susan, inje nye umeanza kuenda si mzuri. Unaenda unasema kwamba Mama yuko in my show Ajua kile ni napitia Yes ayuko in your show Lakina asha ona kule mbene kuna atari Bwana esa sifiwe Anakwambe ujamau na ngangana na unaenda kuolewa na yeye ni mbaya Usiende uko Unasema pasta ataki ni olewe Pasta ataki uonewe na kona buwanaki It is for your own good Praise the Lord It is tell your neighbor it is for your own good Hallelujah Mimi niliwambia nilitoka, nikatoroka. 
Hakutipembeleza. Aliniambia wewe, run for your life. Kama ningekuwa pale niambie ningekuwa nilikufa 2018. 2018 mwezi wa 4 tarehe 12 ningekuwa nilienda kuuliza grace atawaambia. Praise the Lord. It is good to hearken unto the servant of God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. They lead by example practicing what they preach and teach and setting a positive example for their followers to emulate they lead by example practicing what they preach and teach and setting a positive example for their followers to emulate praise the lord we are being taught here truth and holiness bwana isasifiwe Unasema kwamba eh, tuseme mama anatuambia kama wa, wanawake we put on long dresses na yakuja hapa na mini skirt. Atakuwa na ana leader za good example. Atakuwa na leader za good example. Atakuwa anafanya opposite of what is teaching. Praise the Lord. But when we look at our uh, our the servant of God, we can see that whatever she is teaching us is what she is doing bwana isa sifiwe amen haleluya amen kile ambacho kwake hakuna vita kwa ndoa so wewe ukianza kwenda kupiga bwana yako na bibi yako makofi a a kula hakuna sisi tunaendanga huko tuna wasaplus bila kuambia na ni furaha tunakuta tu huko bwana isa sifiwe so ukianza kivituko kwako usiseme ni kwa pasta haleluya Now, a good spiritual parent should also be approachable and willing to listen to your concerns and challenges. They are ready to listen to you. They are ready to listen to your concerns. Bwana isasifiwe. Wewe ndo unasema ngati pastor ni mkali na hata huyo pastor hujawahi enda kumuona. Mwambie mama I have come. Uone kama kweli ni mkali. Sababu nilisikia mtu mmoja akisema pastor ni mkali pia wewe ukasema ai huyo pastor ni mkali sitaenda huko. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Usipepwe na usipepereshwe na nini? Na upepo. Consequences of disrespecting spiritual coverings. Consequences of disrespecting spiritual covering. Remember we read in the book of Hebrews 13:17 they are Can you read for us to Mishi? Hebrews 13:17 Hebrews 13:17 Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourself for the watch for your soul as they must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief for that is unprofitable for you These servants of God they give an account they will give an account of every one that is under them praise the lord so we need to obey them we need to submit under them we need to honor them praise the lord Amen. when uh, if you resist authorities you resist what god has appointed and those who resist will incur judgment bwana isa sifiwe when you resist the authorities when you resist them that the lord has appointed when you disrespect them my friend how to end bila punishment ya mungu because it is god who has appointed them praise the lord number one, you enter into destruction we are speaking about consequences of disrespecting spiritual covering you enter into destruction number 16 Number 16 Last one It's now Korah the son of Isa the son of Kohath the son of Levi and Dathan the Abiram Dathan and Abiram the son of Eliab and all the son of Peleth sons of Reuben took men mm, and they gathered themselves together against Moses 
and against Aaron and said unto them, Ye take too much upon you, seeing all the congregation are holy, every one of them, and the Lord is among them. Wherefore, then lift ye up yourself above the congregation of the Lord. Alleluia, read verse 24 to 26. 24. Speak unto the congregation, saying, Get ye up from about, about the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram, and Moses rose up and went unto Dathan and Abiram, and the elders of Israel followed him. And he spoke unto the congregation, saying, Depart, I pray you, from the tents of these wicked men, and touch nothing of theirs, lest you be consumed in all their sins. In the Lord, read 32 and 33. 32, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up and the houses and all the men that appertained unto Korah and all their goods. And they, they and all that appertained to them went down alive into the pit and the earth closed up, closed upon them and they perished from among the congregation. Praise the Lord. Korah, Abiram and Dadan, the rose against the servant of God, Moses, who was their spiritual father. Praise the Lord. When they arose against Moses, they got judgment of God. The Bible says, the earth opened, and they were swallowed alive. Respect the servants of God, especially holiness servants of God. Let us respect them. Praise the Lord. Number two, the wrath of God descends on you. The wrath of God descends on you. That is Numbers 12, 1 to 9. Because of time, we will read it. Miriam and Aaron arose and spoke against the servant of God. Hallelujah. Amen. They rose against enemies of the church. You start speaking about the church of God. You call them and give them the history of the church. My friend, God is listening to you. And you will not go unpunished. It is the word of God. It is not my word. Praise the Lord. You are sent out of the presence of God. Number three. You are sent out of the presence of God. Genesis 3, 23 to 24. To Nainewa Nistoria, Adam and Eve. Praise the Lord. When they sinned against the Lord, God said, don't eat of this fruit. They went and have refused to be in the covering of God. Saul, I will not return with you. Someone was a covering to who? To Saul. And he rejected to hear the voice of God. Because I do not do in Samuel. Wanesa Sifiwe. God rejected Saul and yet he was a king. And that was the end of his life. If you want to have a good life, respect the servants of God. Points to note as we wind up. Many Christians have taken their spiritual covering for granted. Yet their destinies are attached to them. Many Christians have taken their spiritual covering for granted, yet their destinies are attached to them. Number two, when you protect your spiritual
the servant of God who is your covering to say it is well. Like in the case of Hannah. Praise the Lord. Hannah prayed. And the servant of God came. First he thought he was alikuwa melewa. Lakini akamwambia enda. It is well with you. Praise the Lord. You just need that. Hallelujah. Amen. Live when your assignment is over because your blessings is linked to that pastor. Bwana asifiwe. Tunapomaliza shika sikio hivi. Na uangalie mwanzako umwambie hii. If you cause a servant of God to shed tears because of the pain you are causing him or her you will not go unpunished. May the Lord bless you and do you good as we arise on our one. Let's arise in the mighty name of Jesus. Brother, praise and we come to the keyboard in the name of Jesus. Look at your life. We check your life. Are you right with the covering that God has given unto you? Ama ni wewe unamtembesha kule nje. Kuanzia umoja tu, umoja 3, unampeleka mpaka kwa Mulu, unamrudisha mpaka Nairobi. Hiyo simu yenye unatumia kupiga. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Fear the servants of God. Fear the voice of God. And before God comes